Yeah. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome um, to Making the Brands brought to you by Bullside Merch. Already our fifth episode. Uh, you know, time goes fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're here in our fifth one. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but uh, uh, before we get started, because I, I hadn't seen you, you know, I just, I just, got, I actually just got here, bro. And uh, bro, dude, you're wearing what? What's up with this, man? I ain't. I, I, I didn't tell you to wear that, bro. And you know, it's it's I, almost I, like you did. Yeah, I'm like, dude, <laughs> wait a minute, man. I I literally what I got here what like 20 minutes ago. Uh, and uh, I saw you wearing the hoodie. I'm like, dude, bro, come on, man. I mean, hey, I, you know, it's, it's, I, a, it's a cool print, you I, know. Yeah, if uh, anybody yeah. that went to the Botella tras Botella, yeah, Cristian like, Nodal, you know, they got it. We're matching. I'm exactly. wearing the long sleeve. You're wearing the hoodie. I mean, I know you like to dress like your daddy. But <laughs> damn, bro, like, that's, that's a little too much, bro. But anyway, that's funny. anyways, that's cool. I, I, we're yep. matching, bro. Yep. We're matching. Yep. So that's cool. Cool, man. Yeah. You know, um, so episode number five. Yeah. Uh, we, we get a lot of requests, a lot of questions from uh, from the fans. Yeah. You know that we get a lot of good feedback on on the quality of the, yeah. the garments of, you know, um, because that, that's our priority, you know, mm -hmm. to give uh, the customer um, uh, a quality um, garment at a, you know, at a reasonable price. Yes. And, uh, you know, and then they're like, oh, how do you guys, how do you guys make them? You know, like they're really interested in the process. Yeah. So in this, this different types of process, um, you know, like uh, screen print, like, like this one that we're yes. talking about, um, uh, DTG, you know, uh, DTF and uh, also foil. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, other different processes, um, as well as, um, the one that we're going to talk, um, about today, yeah. which is, uh, sublimation. Yes. Right. So, um, also this also embroidery and, uh, yeah. you know, there are other, um, processes that we're going to get into, uh, you know, as we go along, uh, with the podcast. Yes. Uh, but today uh, we're going to focus on, um, on, um, on sublimation, sublimation. Yes. Cool. Sublimation. So, if, if you want to talk about the process, you know, um, uh, you know, from A to C, so, you know, so we can answer some of those questions that, that, that our customers have. Yeah, definitely. Just to um, uh, recap on what you're saying. Yeah, there's 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 different um, there's different processes to print garments. And it's um, it's always just a matter of picking um, the right one for the job or the, the best fit for that particular job. Um, like you mentioned, there's screen print, there's DTG, there's DTF. It's funny because this DTF is a new one that we mentioned in the past, and it has a funny acronym, mm -hmm. but it stands for direct to film, <laughs> right, direct right. to film, you okay. know, DTF. And then there's DTG, which is direct to garment, garment. screen okay. print. And like I said, there's there's the, the transfers that we do. Um, there's um, um, sublimation, like you said, we're going to focus on today. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like I said... Um, uh, we'll, we're going to break down each, uh, process, but today's focus is to, uh, to, to, to kind of touch on and dig deeper on the sublimation process. Right. Um, and, but before we dig into that, I know, um, just as j just between us, I know that sublimation is actually one of your favorites. Yeah, actually it is, uh, because of the quality of the print uh, yeah. on the, on the garment. It looks, uh, super, you know, high definition, I would say, like, yeah. you know, sometimes even better than the design when, you know, when we see it on the, on the laptop, on the computer. Yeah. Um, once we see it on the garment, I'm like, Whoa, that looks like a hundred times better than, you know, than yeah. what we saw on the screen. Yes. You know, and, uh, especially with photorealistic, uh, yeah. uh, images also with like, uh, uh, bright colors yeah um yeah so I, I like that i mean um and i like the feel of it like you mm -hmm. know it's like literally goes into the into the garment yes. so you, you can't you can't even feel like there's there's like a like a print or, yeah. or something like it's it. bleached on yeah 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 and um i mean i'm um, like pros and cons you know the only thing is that it can only be on um lighter colors. uh lighter colors uh right mm -hmm. and 100 100 polyester or some yeah. blends as well yeah so um Correct, correct. Uh, um, the the quality and the um, the the way it uh, uh, feels. I mean, I don't think there's a comparison to to that mm -hmm. versus any other treatment. Right. Um, just uh, like I said, the way that um, it is um, once it's on the shirt. I mean, the quality, like the detail that mm -hmm. you could get on it is like right. it'll be um, any other treatment out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the durabil durability is also like unmatched mm -hmm. compared to anything else because right. it's bleached onto the shirt. It's like the shirt will fall apart before the actual print does. Mm -hmm. So, um, but with that, there's cons, like I said, and, uh, and, and the pros are that you could get that 
fine, fine detail. You can get those vibrant colors. You can, you can just get the quality like unmatched to anything else. Um, the the cons I would say is that it doesn't work for like black shirts or darker colors. Mm -hmm. You know, and and another con is that it has to be a um, hundred percent polyester. Okay. In order for it to like be super vibrant, have all those, yeah, have all yeah. vibrant. Now, um, you can use blends like you mentioned, where mm -hmm. it's maybe like 50 50 or 75 poly, 25 percent cotton, or yeah. just a, just a variety of different. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's not a hundred percent, it still works, but the, the colors are are they die down, okay? Like I said, they're not as vibrant, you don't mm -hmm. get that vibrancy only until it's a hundred percent polyester, so it'll be good, like in a distress design, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's actually uh that's mm -hmm. a good point yeah if you want to go for like a you know some some designs allow for that if you want to mm -hmm. go for like a vintage design right you can do something like that you can put it on and you can maybe use a lower blend not 100 mm -hmm. polyester and it'll give it kind of like that distressed faded look mm -hmm. so it Got just it. depends but what we usually do when we do do the um the 100 polyester shirts is that we want to get that fine detail mm -hmm. you know right, that, right. that uh that that um like i said a photo image mm -hmm. comes out perfect like I said, the fact is that the only thing is that it has to be on light colors, white more in particular. Right. So um, with that being said, I know that in the beginning when we first jumped into the polyester thing, I mean, I'm sorry, the sublimation thing is we were looking for the right shirt. So we purchased, I mean, man, we got all kinds of different blanks mm -hmm. testing them. Like mm -hmm. I said, we tried the different blends, 50-50s. Mm -hmm. I mean, high, uh, a little bit less po um, cotton, cotton and so mm -hmm. forth. And um so we, we tested and uh, um, at the end, we ended up finding a shirt that um, that we, we like and we use up today. And it's yeah. it's what's cool about it is that it's um it has a cotton feel. Mm -hmm. It has a cotton feel, but it's 100 percent polyester. And that's actually how they sell it. They, right. they sell it. They they they, um, they the, the description is like, hey, you know, like a, try to get this cotton feel shirt but it's 100% polyester mm -hmm. now. Now, it's not going to be exactly mm -hmm. like a actual 100% cotton shirts like the other ones that we use, but this is probably the closest that we have found mm -hmm. up to date that we like that has that sort of feel and still gives us that um that look that we are going for. Right. So, um like I said, not not to say that uh we're not open to trying any other ones because there's new products that are always yeah, always coming out right especially yeah. like as as people um are 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 looking for more ways like i tell you there's always new processes that are coming out like i said we mentioned the dtf like i said mm -hmm. it's a newer process yeah. and shirt manufacturers are always trying to um uh, uh attract as many uh processes as possible so yeah. they want to have a shirt for all your processes you know? right, yeah. like you know what man yeah why only offer this when mm. a variety of people are doing this treatment yeah. so or they're doing this so um it's uh it's good for us because i feel that the manufacturers are working mm -hmm. to accommodate all these printing techniques right which in return, I think the, we benefit and the fan benefits because there's just different options, you know, mm -hmm. there's different options. So like I said, we, um, we will be, um, like I said, breaking down the sublimation, but like I said, since we're here, I figured, Hey, you know what, why not? And only just talking about it. Yeah. Why don't we actually do one from start to finish? And now the fans can actually see exactly mm -hmm what the process is how it comes out and, and right. you know how what the finished product looks like yeah. man so um yeah if you that want. sounds good let's yeah, get I mean, to work the, the printers the, back there you know yeah the machines are here might as <laughs> yeah. well put them to use and yeah, show exactly. exa show them exactly yep. how they work sounds and good. we can go from that so if you guys want um we're gonna you know follow us up there and yep. uh, we'll go to the machines and we'll go to all the right. next step see you guys over there all right cool all right follow us here so we can uh, do that sublimation printer All right, here it is. Here's where the magic happens. <laughs> one of the one of the processes. So, okay. pretty much, like I said, this is um this is a uh, the it's a software that's already ready to go, and we have multiple um, uh, designs that are already in here. Mm -hmm. And all we're gonna do is pick one, and you know, I think uh, one for today we're gonna do one on los temerarios because I like the way that that one comes mm -hmm. out with the glass and so right. forth. So we're just gonna go here through our 
um, gallery and we're gonna pick like one and like yeah, it's literally a picture of both of the singers and you know you mm -hmm. can see all the details in their faces and like their clothes. So and then the purple on the bag also pops. Yes. So I already sent it to the printer and this is it's gonna come out right here. Right there. And um, yeah, pretty much this is like a like a special paper that it requires and um, I said once it's once it's done we, we go to the next step, so yeah. Uh, so we're printing uh, two pictures, even though we're only doing one shirt, we're printing two um, to the same image, uh, so we won't waste any paper, right? Exactly. The way that we have it laid out right now is we have it so it uh, um, it prints two at a time. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, we'll use one and then we'll just have an extra one. Right. So if an online order or something comes out, we just have it ready to go. We don't have to come here and print it around. Yeah. And we'll store the other one like where we store like wherever we have extra ones. Yeah. And that's it. So yeah, this helps maximize the you know the paper usage and the work usage, right? Yeah, it absolutely is. Um, yeah, you want to bring the camera a little bit closer, you'll see that it's already starting to print. So once it gets going, it's pretty quick, right? Yes, yes. Actually, um, like for this, uh, for this we're doing a one-off. Yeah. which is a little bit more time consuming because we're going literally step by step. Right. But like, like let's say we were gonna do a production of this, um, what we can actually do is um, set up the computer mm -hmm. and just tell it that we want it to print uh, 50, 100, right. 200. Yeah. And it'll print like all night. You yeah. can leave it printing at night, it'll, it'll roll up, yeah, correct. And then um, the next day when you come, you just have your roll ready to go and you can start, you can start printing. But Right now, like I said, we're just doing two of them, mm -hmm. just to kind of show you guys all the steps, and then uh, we'll be, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll go Even on though the paper thing. already looks so crisp. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, it's a special paper, and it's actually special inks as well, mm -hmm. for, in order to be able to do this. So, we're almost done right now. Like I said, you'll, you can't see all the detail. You can't even see the colors on the paper. But right now, when you print it, you'll see that it's going to have a lot of purple. And you'll be able to see all the details on it right now. Mm -hmm. So I still trip out on the way this process works. Like <laughs> I said, uh, there's just so many. Like I said, we do screen print, the DTG, yeah, the transfers, and then this is just like a. You know. All right, cool. So now show them, show them that. And that's it. You can see that. That's two of them right there. It's a big print. Mm -hmm. And now. We're gonna go to the back and show you guys the next step, so follow us on back there. All right, so we're gonna go to the last step. We're just gonna cut it and then press it, right? Um, yeah, the press is already set. Um, what's the temperature on that one? Um, so for this print, mm -hmm. it's uh, 355 degrees for 55 seconds. Okay. All right, cool. So that's it. We'll have an extra one. Let me get a let me get a shirt right here from the inventory. All right. Second. All right. Cool. So then, um, pretty much you just get the shirt. Like I tell you, um, get it. Uh, actually, lay it flat. Put it right there. Boom, boom, boom. Get this. Just put it in the middle. Put it in the middle, make sure everything is good everything, to go. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's centered, <laughs> ready to go. Just pretty easy. Yep. And then just uh, press it. Do a little press. And you what? You let it go. So it's about 55 seconds? Yeah, so it, um, like we mentioned, um, there's different settings for different uh, processes, mm -hmm. right? So um, this is sublimation, so this is a, it's a higher temperature and a lower time. Right. So it's uh, 355, 355 degrees? No, 385 degrees for sublimation and it's at 55 seconds. 55 seconds. That's what we do for, that's the, that's the, that's what we found works for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people suggest other things, but for, for us, we, we realize yeah. that um, 385 at 55 so seconds works for, works for, for, works for, for us. Works for us. Correct. So, um, 
And like I said, DTG is, we still use a heat press as well, mm -hmm. but that has a different um, temperature different and a different uh, different time. Cool. So, Sounds good. Yeah. so yeah, so that's done, pops up. Yep. We remove it. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> so there you go. While you couldn't see it at the paper, now you can see it here. And yeah. as you can see, man, the, the, the detail on this is like, I mean, it's crazy. Like I said, why don't you bring that extra paper so they can see uh, how at first, you know, like mm -hmm. you can't see the uh, the purple. You can't see the purple or the, mm -hmm. well, the pink or whatever. Yep. But focus on their faces and look how sharp their images are. Like, look at, look at the quality on this. It's crazy. And then, like Benny was mentioning, you can't feel it at all. It's bleached onto the shirt, so... This is your finished product, and uh, yeah. Also, if it has a, you gotta make sure that it has a <laughs> a bullseye uh, a tag, or else. Yeah, yeah, it's not official. It's not man. official. It's not official. You're getting the bootleg, so, so make sure. Since uh, all yeah. of our viewers are number one fans, um, you know they. You want to get the number one merch, not yeah, the not the not, not the number <laughs> not one the bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Right. So this is like I said, this is the finished product, and from here, we'll uh, we'll package it um, and ship it out, and that begins. So. Um, let's go back over there and then we'll break down uh, a little bit more deeper into it, what it is and so forth. Sounds good. Let's go. See what I mean? This is why I love, uh, you know, sublimation. Look at it. It's like 4K right here. <laughs> it's like 8K, bro. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Like I said, um, I, I mean, yeah, like the, 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 the feel yeah. and the quality is, is uncomparable, I would say, like I said, but, um, like I said, those are some of the pros that we talked about. Yeah. Um, but like I said the cons are that it's on specific colors, and then mm -hmm. I guess uh, um, also um, although you can do um, large production, mm -hmm. it's more time consuming. Right. It's more time consuming because you're doing pretty much they're like they're considered one offs. Like pretty one much at, one, at one at a time, time right? One at a time. So this one is good for like online orders. And stuff online like that. orders, and like I said, we've done production where we have you know we're like hey you know what we really like the way that it looks like this. Let's just. We're just going to spend more time, right? Um, you know, having we have a couple of presses, so yeah. they'll just you know be doing a one versus like I said, depending on what the scenario is. If it's a large, large like I'm talking about, like a major, major production, mm -hmm. then screen print is going to be your it's fastest way, way your your most you know like I said feasible approach mm -hmm. to doing something like that. Right. But um, it's not going to stop us. Like I said, yeah, it might be slower, and we might you know be working there a lot uh, you know longer, longer. Mm -hmm. but if this is the desired look that we want yeah. and we want this then hey that's just what they'll have to do they're right. gonna have to work you know finishing that route and like i said we we don't offer too many mm -hmm. like i said it's more like the um like i said the one house but that's said those can be some of the cons but like i said it doesn't necessarily have to be a con just, we just need to be aware that it's going to be it, take longer more time it's going to be a, it's more time consuming and so forth but like i said the, the 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 finished product is 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 pretty it's pretty legit man yeah yeah for sure so just to recap you know the the, the entire process yeah so in this case we already had the image so you don't yes. really have to make a you know design and then it's uploaded into into um, the, software. the software, right? Mm -hmm. And from the software, it goes to the printer. The printer prints it. Yes. We take it. Uh, we take it back to, to uh, get, uh, press. Yes. Right. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? It's it's simple. It's like I said. You just um, it's 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 a system. You just follow. You know, A B C. Right. You know you. Um, like I said, th this was just a breakdown so you guys can see ex kind of like how it works. Yeah. But if we were starting from scratch, the first thing we do is we would create the artwork. Right. You know, we would create an artwork. But once we have the artwork, mm -hmm. it's uploaded yep. into that software. Yep. I mean, everything is already set. The right. settings, the the size of it. It's not like yeah. you have to guess like every time like, oh, what size? No, no. Everything is just a matter of you look for that, that, that specific mm -hmm. artwork. You push reprint. Right. It prints it. Mm -hmm. um, you get it. You put it, you put it on the shirt, you press mm -hmm. it, done. Right. Done, done, done. Like I said, if it was thousands that you had to do, you would print yeah. thousands of those. And you mm -hmm. would kind of set it up where it's like, um, we, we, we wouldn't do it the way that we did it right yeah. now. We would have it where it's already laid out. Like we would have like all your smalls, all right. your mediums, all your larges, like right. stacks where it's just like. Yeah, it's a totally different bam. process. Yeah, it's a yeah. completely different system that we would yeah. use for a production run. Right. Right now it was a one-off. And, you know, like I said, like that, you have a, an idea of what it takes to, to, to produce 
uh, a sublimation t-shirt right like i said that gives yeah. you this type of quality man good, so um, it's a pretty cool pretty cool shirt yeah and you're like well yeah you know i figured um <laughs> you know fuck since we made it already why don't we um why don't we just you know give this shirt away on our show you know right you're like that uh, a fan and you know so a fan that um uh, that gets it can actually see the quality and right. feel the quality you so know so must be a los temerarios fan yeah right? you know what like i said it's, it, 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 for this particular um mm-hmm. giveaway um, we prefer it to be a, a Los Temerarios fan. Right. Because they're going to appreciate it more. Absolutely. There's going to be other opportunities where we're going to be giving shirts from for other artists other that artists. we work with. Yep. But for now, um, if you are a Los Temerarios fan, yep. you know, comment and uh, subscribe and yep. like us. Uh, and like share this video. video. And share the video. <laughs> and uh, we'll pick somebody from the comments. And like yep. I said, if you are, like I said, we'll focus on a Los Temerarios fan. And hey, yep. We might ask you why, you know, <laughs> what, 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 some little trivia behind those cameras <laughs> to make sure you're right. a fan. But, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like I said, yeah, like, it would be ideal for somebody that is going to appreciate the products like that. They can uh, they can really like it. And right. So, you know, yeah, so, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I mean, and that that was the uh, sublimation process, man. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the seeing the steps from like start to finish. And right. like I said, uh, in the next video, we'll. Uh, We'll figure out what treatment we want to move, what process we want to go with next. Yep. And we'll do the video on that and then uh, show you guys again the steps and so forth to go Sounds good. to so make stay it happen. Tuned. So, so now you know you're going to you're gonna be able to get this uh, Los Temerarios shirt. So comment, you know, share the video and uh, hopefully and we'll pick Ho- a random winner. Hopefully, hopefully you'll win it. Hopefully you win it. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. So is that it? Yeah, that's it for today. So we'll right. see you guys um, on the next one. All right. Cool. All right. Sounds good, man. Right. Peace. Peace.